Google just unveiled Stadia, their online gaming platform that allows you to access games instantly over the internet. But it's so much more. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with the important bits. Stadia will launch this year in the US, UK, Canada and Europe. It's not a console and we unfortunately don't have a price for it yet. So what is Stadia? Basically, it's a game streaming service that allows you to play games directly through any Chrome supported hardware. That includes your PC, as long as you have Chrome installed, your Android phone, your Chrome OS tablet or laptop, and even things like Chromecast Ultra to play from your TV. Now let's talk performance. Last year when they tested it, the performance of Project Stream was limited to 1080p 60fps. When it launches, Stadia will offer up to 4K 60fps with HDR and they plan on allowing up to 8K 120fps in the future. Now I think that this is more of a choice, like 8K or 120fps, because running that kind of resolution at that kind of frame rate looks a bit too good to be true. Now I said that there was no console, but Google will offer the Stadia controller, which will connect via Wi-Fi to your network, probably so that you can switch between devices without always having to repair your controller. On top of that, it will actually connect directly to the Google network to avoid latency issues in that level. According to the presentation, you can stop gaming on one device and pick up on the next one seamlessly, which is where this controller would shine. In terms of specs, all we can do is compare. They compared the performance of a single Stadia instance to traditional consoles, but I think that it's a little unfair to do since those platforms are pretty old by now, and Google calls Stadia a sort of flexible, scalable solution, meaning the actual performance will kind of depend on the game you're playing. Now let's talk about what I think is absolutely nuts about Stadia. First, to start a game, you could be anywhere. All you need is a link. You could be watching someone playing on YouTube and boom, play now button is available in front of you. You're on Twitter and someone shares a link, boom, you're in the game. Not only that, but let's say you're watching someone play a multiplayer game. You could literally queue up on the streamer's YouTube page to play with them using a feature called Crowdplay. That's insanely intuitive. Speaking of content creators, something called state share allows you to save the current state of the game. For example, your health, uh, where you are in the level, things like that, and share it with your audience. Like let's say I'm low HP in Doom in a specific level and I only have 30 ammo left, and I clutch my way through the level. Well I could share that state as a challenge to my audience for them to go through. And it even makes life easier for streaming. When you play a game, you don't have to worry about your settings anymore. When you play, not only is a 4K 60fps feed coming to you, but a separate 4K stream is available for you to stream directly to YouTube. No need for a separate encoding PC or for you to fiddle with OBS settings to get good gameplay. That's insane. Another absolutely insane thing is that multiple Stadia instances can be run at the same time. For example, you can play a split-screen co-op game and have the equivalent of two Stadia machines running the power for both players. Now you might be worried about latency, and you're right, the game has to be rendered somewhere else and then pushed to your screen, but the advantage here is that everyone is on the same level playing field. They also claim no hacking and no cheating, which kind of makes sense. Stadia is going head to head with every single game streaming that has been talked about so far and it looks like it's going to change the future, but if there is one thing that it's going to need, it's good games. Right now, it looks like Google has a great relationship with Bethesda and Ubisoft, and while there are great games that come from those companies, a lot of IPs are tied to Microsoft and Sony. With Project X Cloud, Microsoft has all the advantages of their gaming studios. With Sony, I mean, they have great games, but they don't plan on going into game streaming, at least as far as we know. So just like right now where we have to kind of choose between PC, Xbox, and PlayStation to play the games that we love that are exclusive, I think that in the future, we'll have to choose or pay for multiple game streaming services to play the games that we want. Now I'd love to know your thoughts on Stadia, so go ahead and leave me a comment down below. You can click on the screen right now, there should be boxes for you to be able to see the latest video and subscribe to the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. Let me know what you thought of today's type of style of video. Stay frosty guys, and I'll see you on the next one.
Yeah, I still did it. I had no choice. <laughs>